Are you looking for the best Core XY 3D printers including kits? In this video we will look at some of the best Core XY 3D printers including kits on the market. Before we get started with our video. We have included links in the description. So make sure you check those out to see which one is in your budget range. Starting at number 1. Creality Official Ender 3S1 Pro 3D Printer. The Creativity 3D Elf is a budget Core XY 3D printer with a great mix of features and innovation at an affordable price. For example, it comes with a dual Z-axis linear rod design for a stable and precise 3D printing experience. The printer itself comes as a partially assembled kit, and you can start 3D printing with it in less than an hour this makes it an excellent beginner-friendly option. You get a heated bed, a proprietary nozzle that reaches up to 260 degrees Celsius, and a 32-bit motherboard with silent TMC2208 stepper drivers. It also has a 3.5-inch touchscreen for easy use and accessibility. Considering the price point and the features, the Creativity 3D Elf is a great beginner 3D printer that delivers decent print quality. You get all the things you'd need to print basic materials and can be further upgraded with advanced features to meet more high-end needs. At Number 2. NiCubic Cobra Max 3D Printer. The NiCubic Cobra Max is an excellent budget pick for beginners and professionals looking for their first large-scale 3D printer. At a price tag of $529, the Cobra Max has several features that let it compete aggressively with other large 3D printers. Its massive build size of 400x400x450 400x 450 mm is one of the biggest on the list, giving you the complete creative freedom to print almost anything on the 3D printer. It also comes with a dual Z-axis design, which helps with the stability of the printer, and helps reduces the print artifacts that might occur due to Z-wobbling. NiCubic claims the Cobra Max has a top printing speed of 180 mm forward s which is twice as fast as most FDM 3D printers. This comes close to the printing speeds of the best Delta 3D printers. This high speed is convenient for large format 3D prints and can significantly reduce printing times. The Cobra Max also features a resume printing function, which is essential for large prints as power outages can often lead to hours of wasted time and material. The printer gets NiCubic's LeviQ automatic leveling system, which uses an inductive probe for bed leveling. This is the same probe we found on the NiCubic Cobra, which works great in practice. Other useful features such as a big touch screen, pay print bed, and a filament runout sensor are present on the Cobra Maximum. However, you can notice the lack of an all-metal hot end which will restrict the printer's material compatibility. Also, the inductive sensor is limited solely to metal bed surfaces. So if you plan on upgrading to a glass bed in the future, for example for 3D printing flexible filaments like TPU, you will run into issues. That said, the NiCubic Cobra Max has all the essential features and delivers reliable print quality. It is a great budget pick for beginners and hobbyists who need a giant 3D printer but do not want to spend too much on it. At Number 3. Artillery Sidewinder SW X2 3D Printer. While the Sidewinder X1 was a great competitor to the Creality CR10 series, it came with many new features all at once, leading to several issues. With the Sidewinder X2, artillery has improved tremendously over the earlier version. The X2 is a beginner's 3D printer with a large print volume. A Bluetouch-style leveling probe helps with auto-bed leveling on the X2. There's also a tempered glass print surface with a heated build platform that uses AC electricity for heating. The glass surface helps you to get a smooth first layer, while the AC bed heating warms the bed up to 130 degrees Celsius within 2-3 minutes. The Titan-style extruder with volcano hot end is perfectly suited for pushing large amounts of filament at once. With a maximum nozzle temperature of 240 degrees Celsius, however, you are limited to 3D printing with low temperature filaments. Another shortcoming of the machine is that it does not have any frame reinforcements to support its XZ gantry. This means that you are more likely to end up with Z banding or Z wobble issues when 3D printing at larger print heights. Compared to the CR10 Smart Pro, this is a notable shortcoming. Its auto bed leveling, excellent safety features, 
and snappy retractions out of the box make it an excellent large 3D printer for beginners. The Artillery X2 also makes a perfect partner for educational institutes and those with semi-professional work needs. Its sub $500.00 price tag also makes it an appealing option for many hobbyists on a budget.